Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Cancer for the month of September? Oh, I think that's it, huh? No, I don't think it is. What do we have for Cancer? Whoa! Let's see if we can catch something on fire. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you are going to need to be honest with somebody. You know, express yourself. So you're going to be discussing your feelings with somebody. You're going to be having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. A real one, you know. It's going to be emotional. Heart-to-heart, -heart, heart is emotions, okay. So what do we have for cancer? There we go. Ooh, gong, an exciting event. Fly, ooh, a period of ill health or depression. Ant, work, achievement, and success. So, you're going to be working hard this month to achieve success, but you are probably going through a period of ill health or depression. All right, but you are going to have an exciting event, okay? However that resonates with you, be prepared for something exciting to happen, okay? This is some sort of announcement. If you think about a gong, we have an announcement. So there is going to be an event. There's also going to be an announcement of some sort. What do we have for cancer? What do we have for cancer? For September... Queen of Cups and the Devil Reversed. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have this person drinking from her own cup. This is about self-love. Okay, you need to love yourself. You need to follow your heart. Follow your intuition. Okay, I think that you have your own little psychic abilities going on here and you really need to listen. Listen to your gut. Follow your intuition during this time. This is a period of depression, okay? This is things getting worse. This is a need to break free. A need to break free from something that is you are slave to. It could be codependency, okay? You may be codependent on somebody that is not healthy for you, and you need to break free from it. Maybe you need to love yourself enough. You don't need another person. The only person that completes you is you, okay? We could also have somebody here that has addictions, you know, we, we could have some drinking problems or something like that. When I was shuffling, I wanted to say Sagittarius. I don't know why. I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, but we have some sort of codependency, and a codependency is a di an addiction that you need to get over. Okay? But it starts from with you. It starts with you uh, breaking free from whatever this is that is not healthy. It's you taking care of you. You need to nurture you. Okay? Take care of you. You also may be dealing with somebody or you may have somebody around you that is very caring, very loving, that has a really big heart. And, you know, there's something. You may be sabotaging it because this is self-sabotage. The devil reverse can be extremes. Okay, there could be some sort of extreme codependency um, that you need to break free from. Uh, you must, you must, you must, you must free yourself from this situation, whatever it is. Um, the devil reverse could be a deep, dark place of anxiety and depression where maybe you need a nurse or you need somebody to take care of you. But you have to, you have to allow them to take care of you, something like that. This is poor health, extremely poor health. So some of you may be sick, you may be feeling sick, you may need to take a break, maybe you need to go to a hospital, 
uh, to get help. Maybe you need some sort of, what I was going to say was, uh, what I just pictured in my mind was an IV. Was, you know, where they hook you up to the IV and they give you, you're dehydrated or something like that. You may need an IV. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. I don't think I've ever said it during a reading. Um, but this is... Um, There could even be some heart issues here because I just heard that as well. Um, and, it, and, and it interesting. Anyway, there's a need to slow down. There's a need to take care of yourself. Make sure that you are drinking enough water. I don't. I don't think I say that. I don't think I've ever said that before. I think that you're not getting enough water. I think if you're feeling sick or something like that or whatever, you're not drinking enough water. You need to drink more water. Um, there's poor health here. There's there's sickness. And uh, there may be even some drugs or alcohol that is depleting you. Okay? Um, and, that, and that's not going to be for every single person. Maybe some of you are out in the heat all day. Okay? Maybe Maybe you're working, 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 and you're not getting enough water. Anyhow, there's a need to take a break. There's health issues here. Higher power. Ooh, you may be, there's something to do with a father. We have a father here. This is a father and this is a father. So you, you know, we have a worker, we have a business owner. We have somebody that is under a lot of social pressure. So if you are a business owner and you are watching this, especially if you are a male, you may be working too much and you're not really taking good care of yourself. This is social pressure. You need to take time. You maybe need a vacation. Anyhow, this is somebody that needs to... Uh, now this is orders. This is somebody that is getting, that is making a plan. Very protective. Hard, hard, hard worker here. Now this is being ordered. You may be ordered. Somebody may be ordered. This could be a judge. Could be somebody in law enforcement that is making an order. Maybe sending somebody, and this could be a retreat. A rehab. I don't know if that's for you or somebody that you know. This is a higher power that is involved. You need to listen to your gut again about a relationship, about a commitment. You may be in a toxic commitment with somebody that is not healthy, but you're in it for codependent reasons. If you are single... No, this, so that was if you were in a relationship. If you are single, you need to love yourself. You need to love yourself so much so that you don't allow somebody that is toxic. This is hell. This is heaven. Okay, devil versus God. Okay, so I think that you need to... Uh, Oh, this is breaking free from some sort of hell. It is. Listen. Just listen. This is listen. Are you listening? Are you listening to me? I don't know. Maybe you're receiving messages because you're very, very intuitive, but you're, you're ignoring them. Now, this is about taking charge. You need to take charge. And I think that's what you've been doing. I think for some of you, you've been working too much. Just saying. Anyway, some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Could be a, the father of your children. If you are the Cancer woman that is watching this, could be an Aries, could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus. They may, may, may be causing you to be fed up, exhausted. They're toxic. They're unhealthy. Ignore them. Take care of yourself. Anyhow. This this Hierophant right here, this is a higher power. It's divine. It's access to God. Re 
receiving some sort of advice from somebody. Somebody maybe you have somebody around you that can advise you. This may be a boss or a father, priest, somebody that is very spiritual that can help you. But it feels like you are not willing to accept help or something like that. This is guidance. Receiving guidance. You're going to be receiving help, I believe. I think there's some sort of help that is arriving to break you free from something that you are codependent on. Hmm. Now, the emperor is a masculine energy that is very distant. This is a judge or a ruler or a decision maker. Somebody is making a decision. They're going to be following their gut. They're going to be following the plan because this is a higher plan. This is a planner. So somebody is making a plan. They're going to be following the plan. What is this plan? It's a high, there's a higher... Ooh! The lover! So an unexpected choice in love. It's an unexpected plan. So there's an, there is, there's an unexpected opportunity for love here. But you have to listen and you have to follow your gut and you have to break free from something that is unhealthy. And I don't know what, it, what the hell it is, but it's something that is uh, not good for you at all with that devil reversed. It's not helping you. It's hindering you. It's making you sick. It's making you sick. So you have to break free. You have another opportunity here that could that is very, very healing. This is a healing love. This is falling in love. This is a soulmate connection. It's a perfect union, but there's a choice here. You and it feels like you're being guided to make another choice. This is guided. You're being guided to make another choice, but there's some sort of codependency on something that isn't healthy that is stopping you from making that choice. It's almost like you're turning your back on reality. You, a lot of, who, somebody, we have a business owner here, or somebody that is in a position of authority, definitely, that is going to be making a choice on love. And maybe to you, if you are the masculine watching this, and I'm talking the masculine If you are the masculine watching this, it is your, you take charge. You have to take charge. You have to make a decision. Do you want to keep staying with something that is unhealthy, that is not toxic? Or do you want to follow your gut and listen to the higher plan? What is this queen of cups over here? Death. Death. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. This is coming to an end. Ending something. This is this is a profound life change. This is letting go, releasing. Letting go of one thing to bring in the new. You have a new opportunity here. But you have to follow your heart. Don't let social pressure get in the way of your own happiness. Cancer, I feel as though you are overdoing it in your work or your job and you're ignoring your heart and maybe you even have some heart issues, okay, because you're ignoring your heart. You have another opportunity for love. You do. You do. But the only way you're going to get it is to listen. Listen to your gut. Don't let I don't know if it's materialism, you know, if you're working too much or whatever it is, get in the way of happiness. This death card is profound change. It's destruction. We have a transition here. It's a separation and a loss with a new beginning to follow. Something is coming to an end. This ending allows you to have a new beginning with somebody that you are very, very, very compatible with. This is a kindred spirit. 
could be a Gemini, Taurus, Taurus, Gemini, an Aries, could even be a Capricorn. Whoever this person is that you that you could have a connection with is probably a business owner. They're probably pretty spiritual as well. I think that this is a per opportunity to have a deep connection with somebody. If you can listen to the divine plan and take action, you need to take action. You need to break free from something that isn't good for you. You need to end it, but you're refusing to end it because of what society is going to say because of the embarrassment or what or you just don't have time because you, you got to work all the time work is more important all those things are more important than your heart you want to die you better get your heart checked This is about following your heart. And I know some people are sitting there, oh, my heart is with this person that I'm tied to. If that person isn't reciprocating or they don't love you, that's not love. That's not love. You deserve to be loved. Did I not say that? There's a healing love here for you. Don't you want to be loved? So I do see an ending here with that death card. That is a profound life change. Where you follow your heart. And it opens up a new door. I see you going through some sort of transition from one life to... It's almost like one phase of life to another. I think whoever you're dealing with, and maybe it's a Capricorn, I don't know. I think I said that already. You're going to be breaking free from somebody that you are not compatible with and coming together with somebody that you are. I think you already know this person. But perhaps you haven't been putting in effort because you're still tied. You haven't severed the ties with the other person. You haven't completely ended it. Anyhow, you have a, you have a, a perfect union here, but you have to choose. You have to choose. You have to choose to uh, take action and do what's right for you instead of caring what everybody else thinks. Whew. King of Swords reverse. That is uh, being dishonest. If somebody's not being honest, they're not telling the truth. They're mean. They're abusive. Mentally abusive. Or there's lack of clarity. Not seeing things clearly. Lack of discernment. We got you. You you're probably dealing with somebody that is all talk. You could be dealing with but with somebody that is power crazed. But I feel like there's some sort of protection here. I think that there's protection. Maybe I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. This could be an absent father because something father, father, father. We have father here. You may be dealing with an abusive father or you had an abusive father or you didn't have a father. There's an absent father here. And maybe, I don't know if this father has passed away and they're trying to guide you now or what the case is. But I feel like you're ignoring advice. You are ignoring the higher power. You are ignoring advice. You may have a father that is, uh, maybe it's a stepfather could be even an ex okay with that king of swords reversed could be an ex it could be a stepfather or an absent father or whatever it is that may be leaving your life okay or you're leaving them with that death card 
There's abuse here. The king of swords in reverse is some. It's either neglect or abuse. So there's somebody is neglected. They've they're, they're, or they've been neglected by a father, which has caused addictions. But things are about to change. Things are about to change. There's going to be a decision that is made by somebody in a position of authority. There could be some consequences with the lover's card. Somebody may be out drinking, just saying, because we got somebody drinking here. There's, there could be some drugs or something like that. That the, the Hierophant is the higher power that is watching. There's a higher power that is involved here that is guiding you towards a true love connection. That it is. You are being guided towards a true love connection. But you have to break free from this situation that you're in. And you are going to be breaking free from it with that devil reversed. Something has been hidden. And it's been hidden very well. But it can't be hidden anymore. I think it has to do with this person. Or this person. So it's either a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You're going to be experiencing an ending with this person there's an abuse of power and I feel like this person is uh, what's gonna happen with this person Ooh, the Empress reverse uh, this is an absent mother as well so we got mother father problems anyway the Empress reverse whoever this person is or this person this person doesn't know their value doesn't know their worth is very self-absorbed, jealous, possessive, mean-spirited, all over the place. We got somebody here that is a mess and is being abused, being abused by another person that has complete control over them. Interesting. The Empress in Reversed is somebody that is, that needs constant attention. that doesn't know their value. This is somebody that is needy. Feels like there's there could be uh, a termination. Maybe it's a termination of rights or something like that. This is a termination or the loss of a I don't know what it is, but it's a, there's some sort of loss here. This is divine guidance, being guided towards a soulmate. Somebody is being guided towards a soulmate. Somebody could, you know, I don't know who, if this has to do with losing your children, you know, to a father. Okay, if you're a mother, I'm not trying to scare anybody. But the father could get custody. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um... But this is an abusive father. Hopefully that's not the case. Anyhow, this right here, um, and here's a father with two children. So if you have, if you're going to court for your children, you are a woman watching this. The father may 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 win. Um, just I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that that I don't even know where that's coming from. But anyhow, um, we have an unexpected choice in love. That breaks you free from a toxic situation. You are going to be connecting with somebody that is perfect for you. But you're going to have to experience the pain of this ending. Which you have been avoiding. You've been avoiding it. We may have a man here that did not value a woman that stole her, you know, her self-esteem and her self-worth. Anyhow, one more card. One more card for Cancer. There's going to be a ruling, or somebody's going to make a decision. They that to uh, end something because this is the death of a person or idea, and this is to to end something that is very unhealthy. There's going to be a severing of ties here with somebody that you have been reluctant to sever ties with. 
I think it has to do with um, a father. I don't know why. A father or a husband or even a, a girlfriend or a wife. Okay, somebody that this person doesn't love. Okay, she doesn't, she's not very loving. Okay, the Empress in reverse is somebody that is not very abundant, that is lazy, that is needy, that uh, doesn't love. Okay, she may sleep around, she may cheat, she may have affairs. Your intuition may be telling you that something is going on. And if that is the case, you, you may you may find out, oh yes, we got judgment reversed on the bottom. So this is uh, truths coming out. Something is going to happen. And we do have some serious poor health here. We got somebody here that is very unhealthy. And they may, they may be found guilty. Somebody may be found guilty for something. They may be put on trial. Or there's going to be a trial and they're found guilty. There's bad karma here for somebody. Somebody is going, to, is going to be receiving some bad karma. And their health is declining because they're not paying attention to their heart. That's not what God wants. God wants you to follow your heart. It's not about your health. It's not about your car. It's not about your things. It's about what your heart wants. So... You know, if somebody could end up in the hospital because they're not paying attention to their heart. Um, there is going to be an event that breaks you free from a toxic situation. Put it that way. Good luck.